Well, hello guys, Junior back again. It's that day, it's the SNES Mini day. Um, I don't normally do unboxings because they're usually boring as shit. But I thought I would do this one just for the hell of it because some people might be interested to what's actually in the box. So I was pretty lucky to pick mine up this morning. Uh, I've just got home from work and uh, pretty much that's how it is. I haven't tried it yet. So what I'll do, I'll do a little bit of unboxing for you guys and then um, once I've had a chance to have a, a good go of it over the weekend, uh, I'll check out a little um, sort of review and my thoughts of the, of the thing. So um, as you can see, that's the box. Quite nice. Comes with two pads as well, which is quite nice this time. Um, just your usual information. On the back then is the games list, which is a quite nice games list, I have to admit. Like I say, you've got... Uh, what have you actually got? Yes, have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, close up. You've got Super Mario World. You've got Donkey Kong. You've got Secret of Mana. Um, you've got F-Zero. You've got Castlevania 4. You've got Legend of Zelda. Uh, Super Goals and Ghosts. Earthbound. Contra Free. Uh, Super Punch-Out. Super Metroid. Uh, Final Fantasy 3, which is Final Fantasy 6. Fantastic game, that is. Um, Star Fox. Star Fox 2, which uh, has never been released before. Uh, properly anyway um you've got mario rpg you've got super mario kart you've got uh, mega man x you've got kirby superstar which i've never played kirby's dream course uh yoshi's island and um super street fighter 2 turbo which is pretty damn nice uh, i say gotta be honest this game is probably worth the price of entry just for the star fox 2 alone to be honest so what we'll do is we'll uh, open this up like I said, I've never, I haven't seen this myself yet, so we'll put the box at the side. Right then, so this is what you get in the box. Looks like you get your little manual and everything, uh, NES Mini. Uh, let's have a quick look in the manual. This is going to be riveting, this review. Riveting, I tell you. Um, so it's the usual sort of uh, language stuff and that. Nothing particularly very interesting. Do get some points for my Nintendo Club, which I've probably just given away the code. So uh, there you go. If you're lucky enough to get in there before me, the code is yours. Um, you get your joypad. So I shall take this out with this little pack in. Feels very, very nice indeed. Let's have a feel the buttons. Feels very nice. Um, it's pretty much the same size as same size as a normal Nintendo pad and if I can find a Nintendo pad if I can find a Nintendo pad to actually uh, put it up against right here's my original SNES pad uh, obviously it's been used so it's a little bit uh, going and then here's uh, your other pad Looks pretty. I don't know. I don't know whether it's is it slightly bigger. Is it slightly smaller? I mean, um, no, pretty much exactly the same. Plastic feels a little bit different. Feels a little bit more rougher on this, but and they're a little bit more shiny. But that could be a little bit more worn. So we'll put that out of the way. Ooh. As I drop the iPad, that was a good start, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. So there's your one pad. Here's your. Uh, second joypad, very very nice indeed. Um, in the box, then you get um, HDMI cable, which is very nice. Nintendo branded one, and you get your um, uh, micro USB cable. Bit of a shame that the Americans actually do get a power uh, brick to go with this. You can charge it, but we don't, which is a bit crappy. But there you go. As long as you've got a USB slot or a phone charger or your telly's got a USB, you're pretty sorted. So it looks a fairly long lead. And then we've got the actual uh, machine itself. So let's open this up. I have to say that's pretty sweet. That is pretty nice. <laughs> that is really nice, actually. Uh, the plastic feels very similar to the pads. Slightly different in colour, but I don't know if you see it in the video. But it feels very similar to the pads. Um, you've got your little arm off. See, that's a class. 
you go eject it doesn't work and that it doesn't work uh oh but the reset button works as well very very nice and apparently i think you've got to pull this out ah you are you pull that out the front and uh there's your little controller ports for there so that's pretty cool that is actually it's it is actually indented plastic so we'll pop that back in i can admit that is pretty much that is pretty sweet that looks a lot nicer than the nes one the garbage that does actually look like a Super Nintendo, which is really cool. Uh, what I've got here is a Super Nintendo cart, uh, sort of Super Scope, just to give you an idea of size. Uh, that it's not that far off the size of a Super Nintendo cart, but maybe two of them next to each other. So, say the original Super Nintendo cart and the Super Nintendo Mini. So, yeah, I have to say that is pretty sweet. Um, this time they are a little bit more expensive. They're 90 quid. Uh, sorry, 80 quid, not 90 quid. Uh, which is a little bit more than the Mini, because the Mini was £60, if I was 65 or something like that it was. But um, it's got a little rubber feet as well. That's cool. But uh, as you can see, it's very, very nice indeed. So we'll put that we'll put that side there, put the boxes away. There's the two pads and the box. Right then, what I did as well, which I didn't actually realise these were coming out here, but Hori has done a wireless pad for uh, the Super Nintendo Mini. How cool is that? It's 30 quid, so it's a little bit more expensive. Um, Argos are selling them, so if you get in there quick, you might get one from Argos. Um, so, the Hori Commander was a very nice joypad for the uh, the actual SNES. So, let me, oh, it's got little plastic tabs on it, so let's see if I can get into this without wrecking the box. The little sticky tabs. Has it got one that side? No. Nope. So let's see if we can actually. Yeah, it has got one that side. These sticky things are a nightmare. Got to have some nails to get them suckers off. And I've just. I oh, don't stickers, not too bad. So we'll uh, get that up. It's going to be quite interesting for Street Fighter. Right, so we put the box aside. Emmanuel. Ah, it's got a little dongle. Obviously, it goes in. We wonder if this actually works on the uh, on the Wii. That'd be quite cool. It'd be wireless into wireless. That'd be a bit strange, wouldn't it? Into a Wii uh, remote. So a little wireless thing. So pretty much, that's going to stick out the front of the machine. So it's going to look pretty hideous. Oh well, there you go. Can't have everything, I suppose. So that is going to look hideous sticking out the front of there. But what do you do for a wireless pad? Oh, well, that's very nice. A very nice wireless pad. So, there's your Hordy Commander. Here we go. Feels quite nice. You've got the six buttons on the on the front. Uh, you've got your turbos as well, so your, your auto fires and stuff. Uh, turbo, which... Uh, no, actually, I think that's for the auto fires. Start and select. you got your two buttons on top as well. And it looks like it's a standard battery compartment on the back. So I'll see if I can get this open. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like it's your standard, yeah, standard AA batteries it takes. So you put them in. And that's your Hordy Commander. I say this. As you can see, this Hordy Commander is a little bit bigger than the original ones. Um, it's, a, if I can hold these right. It's a bit thicker. Not a huge amount thicker, but obviously with the back bit you can see but i thought that was a very nice touch that hori had actually released re-releasing their hori commander for the nest mini so um i'm going to uh my mates managed to get hold of one of these so i'm off out tonight and we're gonna go down ex mosquito's house i don't know if you ever checked him out on youtube you should check him out i'll put a link to his channel in uh, my page his channel is very good there's very very pretty amazing arcade replays on one credit and one life a uh, very good player indeed and, and good friend. So I'll uh, put a link in there so you check his channel out. And uh, I know perhaps a bit of Street Fighter and a bit of Mario Kart after. Be interesting to have a bit of SNES Street Fighter Turbo. Even though, as much as I don't want to admit it, he is going to kick my ass because he is very good at Street Fighter. So I'm going to go down there and probably get uh, get my ass kicked all night. But uh, oh well, in all the nymph, funny. Eh? So guys, that is everything that I've got for the SNES Mini. So I'll put it like that. 
So, uh, what I'll do, guys, I'll um, try and give this a, a, a good go over the weekend now. Yeah, does that fit? Yeah, it does fit flush this way. I'll try and give this a good go over the weekend now, and uh, obviously, I won't be playing my uh, SNES cartridges in it. <laughs> And um, I'll um, chuck up uh, a bit of review of it and I'll show you some gameplay of all the games and uh, we'll have a look at the cool menu. And hopefully the menu is quite nice because the menu on the NES Mini is very sweet as well. Um, yeah, so we'll get into that. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing. I hope it wasn't too boring. Like I said, they're normally boring and shit, but everyone's after one of these. So, you know, I thought I'd chuck an unboxing nevertheless. So anyway, guys... I'll see you soon, and I'll, I'll drop a say I'll drop a video probably towards the end of the weekend if I can. All right, then, guys. Bye now.